Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included, our Season 2 here on the Crunchy Citadel. Now, we are going to be making a proper refinery today. I know I've been trying to do it for a bit, but we finally have the means to do it, and I'm very excited. So we did manufacture a little bit of steel here, and you'll see as well, I was using this system to cool the steel down, and you know, it was uh, not exactly the most brilliant choice but it's it's what we did and you know we're gonna we're gonna snip it now <laughs> we're gonna cut that out because this is a bad idea and this whole system pretty well was cooling it but absorbing all of our power so we're switching it out we're adjusting everything's gonna be fine in a few minutes once we've got it fixed properly and build a new cooling system here this is going to be our steam room i know it's a little bit bigger and the idea here is we're going to be putting an aqua tuner in here to cool what we'll have two cool uh, two steam turbines up here and then one aqua tuner i think in here maybe two for again another cooling loop a proper cooling loop and hopefully the power system will be net positive just because of the sheer amount of heat that this bad boy will produce and expel into this area. So that's the plan. That's that's what we're hoping for. And we're gonna see if we can get that done today. As well, in between, I did set up a little bit of a temporary refinery to make some extra steel because we were really struggling there. And so what we're going to do now is we're gonna actually snip that off and, and cut it here so that we stop breaking things because you'll see we have some broken wires here and the reason is because well you know i uh i was i was overloading the circuit something we've neglected to to fix over the last little bit is our uh, our circuitry but you know we'll be getting there soon so we're gonna be setting up a little bit of a room here it may not be exactly the way that it should be run but it is what I'm going to do. Now, let's just fix this first. Get the uh, get that oil out of here and get the, um, the cooling system set back up again. And then we'll start working on this. All right, so it took me a little bit of time there, but we got it done. We managed to fix... Well, oh, wait, wait, wait. It's not quite fixed. Look, so we, we're just trying to fill the piping here with enough ethanol... Right, this is ethanol? Yes, enough ethanol to support the whole system to, to continually have liquid pumping through, and right there is where I'm going to snip it. I think that should be a good balance now. Hopefully, it doesn't get blocked up. You can see we got a few areas of, uh, you know, where I had to dump some liquid out, but we got there. It took us a while, but we finally got there. We got it done. Everything's good now. And so it seems to be running smoothly. It seems that the cooling is doing good work as well. It'd be nice to figure out a little bit more piping over here maybe to make it work somewhat better. But I will make do with that for the time being. I think it is doing a better job than we were expecting. So very, very keen on keeping it the way it is. Now, listen. <laughs> food is... We're struggling a little bit with food. I, I'm seeing... Um, not exactly how I was anticipating things going, but there is a, there seems to be a slight shortage of food. Also, is there an issue with this not getting water, or is there water hooked up to that? Nope. No, there is, uh, there's presently no water hooked up to that, but actually, what could be done. And, wait, no, they don't even need water. What am I doing? They don't need water. Bah, humbug. Uh, I do think, however, we may need to start producing some more food food. I'm getting concerned about the situation because you can see we're at 27 calories and also over here they seem to be struggling which I don't particularly understand why. Um, uh, th so 3,000 are currently being consumed. There's only 5,000 here. They're also not really doing anything. I did also set up this robo miner a little while ago made out of steel just to deconstruct some stuff to make their lives easier. What exactly is going on? Um, wh where is everybody? They're kind of doing their own things here. As long as there's no germs in these, we could go and get this stuff all dug out as well. So somebody can go and do that. That would be lovely. Okay, they're literally all going to go do it. And they're all going to do it outside of spacesuits. That's good. 
These things are producing reasonable electricity, which I really like, 140 watts. It would be nice to have more. It would have been nice to have no meteor showers on this planet, but it's okay. I understand. I understand the system that I'm living in is uh, problematic and, and, and feisty, so I'll, I'll, I'll make do. But that sa saves that system. I would like them to build that, but I guess those actually count as floors, so I suppose it doesn't matter. Now, I don't really have plans for this colony at this moment, so I've just been getting them to dig things out. Dig out, you know, some of the, the copper here, dig things out in that way, because right now I don't actually have them producing crude oil because I just don't really need crude oil. They've kind of served their purpose for the most part. The only thing that I do want them to work on eventually is digging this out and getting this sorted out, but... Yeah, I'm going to need to, uh, it's going to be a little difficult, and it's going to release a lot of heat, which actually, maybe, you know what, maybe I just have them dig one out at a time and see kind of what happens here. There is no cooling on this base. There is no cooling on this base. The only cooling comes from this water that's coming in, and it's coming in at 25 now. It's also sitting at, oh my gosh, it's sitting at 75 down here could evaporate soon if the right conditions are met. Let me put this on a 9, see what happens. Okay, yeah, so you can see the heat dissipating from that now, which is unfortunate, but, you know, we do need to see some sort of release of that heat. Perhaps I could have strategized a bit better, but it will slowly come out. I didn't realize that that one was. Over a thousand. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should have looked inside a little bit more. That is really not good. That was a bad call. That was a very bad call. I will have somebody fix this immediately. We'll keep an eye on Max, make sure that he stays alive while we do this. And there we are. I'm hoping that the temperature exchange is slow enough that it will be all right. We'll deal with that later on. We could actually use it to make... We could use it to make petroleum, but then we might end up having sour gas if uh, it gets too hot. Just checking here. I do want to see what this is. So, given that there is, you know, it is a hot biome. It is a little bit toasty for them. Let me see if I can get a ladder put down here. And I'm hoping it won't cause too much damage, but we'll see what ends up happening there. We get a notification. We'll come back now. Okay, they're doing fine for food. I'm going to leave it alone. So we are working on this still. So I, I put in a little bit of piping here. We're going to be doing backwards to this one. So it's going to be very similar, but we're going to do a little bit of a switcheroo here. I'm going to first pump in. And let's do insulated pipes just so that this system has what it needs. We're going to be pumping in regular water to start. So regular water. Well, actually, no. Polluted water. Sorry. We're going to be pumping in polluted water to start from over here just because it is you know it's it's it, it, it it's gonna be good it's gonna be how i use up some of that polluted water that we've gonna been sitting on for a while and then we're gonna put in one of these as well some heavy watt wire to get this started along the way and then we've got another i think do we have enough steel to do this i don't even know if i made that one out of steel <laughs> i should have been paying attention or maybe I put in the aqua tuner that we're going to be using. Because I was going to use one aqua tuner to cool these two units here. So, as well, keeping it flipped to that system. So, let's put in maybe one aqua tuner in the middle. Should be fine, I would say. Right dead center. And then we can put in some temp shift, temp shift plates as well. Talking about maybe using diamond for this if i've got diamond so overheat temperature plus 200 which is what's is steel 200 steel yeah okay so we're gonna use diamond for this high thermal conductivity so the idea is that it should help regulate the space so we're gonna use a couple of them in here see if we can make them work i don't know exactly how many of them i'm going to need so i'm just gonna design it let's do it like that Boom, boom, design it like that. We'll see what exactly happens. Or maybe, maybe we design them, wait a second, like that. There we go, okay. Aqua tuner, really the aqua tuner can't float. Okay, 
Okay, so we might actually just run with one steam turbine and put in a second one after. It doesn't really matter if we do one or two at the same time. So we'll start here as well. Let's get this set up now just because I need that done. The inside will need to get done eventually, so we'll put that on a seven. I do want them to move. Let's move the ice over here. Get it done rather quickly, actually. I would like the ice just kind of moved out. Realize it's quite a bit, but it's okay. It'll get done. We will also sweep that up and deconstruct this block. Okay, so we're also bringing Max back, and I forgot to tell you, I got a new dupe over here. Uh, their name is Bonnie. So Bonnie is here, and uh, you know they got some super hard digging. That's great, um, but really nothing crazy so far. And uh, yeah, I just that was one of the things I did in between. So just checking a few more things. I'm, I'm beginning to worry about power but actually I'm realizing we have an abundance of everything still so we're okay we're okay the other folks on Combustista are looking at um, the whole geyser situation see if we can find anything better there and then these folks we're still working away on this it's taking some time but part of the problem was that we didn't have the proper person to build these things because Max was over on Combustista so we are making some progress here this is a wonky setup though that's what i'm noticing first and foremost is i am really creating a system of of wonkiness and that is okay that's okay in my books because this is a test this is a test run now the floor not having you know regular tiles is kind of causing me problems so i may have to go in there and switch them because I'm not able to run anything through the bottom here. So it is causing me some issue. But we're going to see if I can work around it. So I'm going to do a little bit of, you know, fishing around here. Changing to copper. Mm, we might be all right to do that. So this is the route that the pipe would take with the hot liquid in it. Change to steel. I don't really want to change to steel um but copper and copper and that is is also totally fine copper and iron are both fine options for this we do still have an ample amount of copper available and actually rather than do all this extra manufacturing for iron let's go dig up some extra iron here i can do a few dig quests on level nine uh, I don't think this is hot. No, it is not. So we can actually go and dig out some of these things as well. I do need to be careful still about that. Not, not breach it. If I breach it, we got a problem. And I don't think there's too much more. I'm not going to do that because that would be silly of me. So far, so good. So we are making, again, we are making pretty good progress here. It's just, again, taking time like things always do. Things always take a little bit of extra time here. I'm heavily debating moving these arbor trees. I know they've been here for a really long time, but as you can see, um, polluted water is not really a weak source for us. So if we do need to pump polluted water into arbor trees, that would be entirely acceptable. I think we might start moving down that route and that would help us get rid of some of this polluted water because there's too much water on, on this, this planet. And I never thought I'd say it, but there's just simply too much. And honestly, I think what I might need to do, just because we are running out of, you know, again, we're running out of refined resources here. I really didn't want to do this, but given that I'm having so many issues, I think it might be time to hook this back up to the system and get somebody to go and work in this. I really didn't want them to do it. I didn't want more overflow, but it is what it is. Also, let me put a tile there. Really need to seal things up. I really need to work on this too. We, we got to do a little bit more cleanup here because once I got them functional, I stopped working on them. And now they're functional and they just look kind of miserable. And I'd really like to clean out the polluted oxygen and, and tidy things up because we've been we've been doing so good with expansion recently. It's I think we're at that stage of almost a third 
almost a third colony would be uh, a season three would be would be good. We'd have so much more knowledge to put into the system and things would be looking much better. So anyway, we're going to continue on here. We're going to keep making a little bit more material. We're going to be refining with this and taking slight damage on the conductive wire, which is unfortunate, but we got to do it to make progress. And if this is what I have to do, so be it. It hurts the soul, but we're going to give it a go. Oh, we actually probably have enough now to, to do this properly. So, listen, this is what it's looking like. A few jumps, a few leaps inside the whole system. I'm really hopeful that, that those lots can handle it. They should be able to. I, I don't really know if they've got an overheat temperature. We haven't seen it happen in here. And generally, the temperature should be fine as well look, there you go so next thing too will be to start dumping water in here we're going to start with the polluted water and then we're going to snag some i might be cheeky and i might do polluted water salt water and regular water but i'm not quite sure yet i don't know how to get rid of this liquid here without making a mess it's likely I'm going to just simply make a huge mess, which is not ideal, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so we are working to get this sorted out and finished off finally, which is taking the remaining liquid that's in here, so the remaining oil that's in here, and having it pumped into here. I'm really hoping that we've got enough space here to, to throw it in there, and I might actually end up shipping it back down here. We'll see very soon what happens there. But we've got this system set up and enclosed. There is still a ladder in there, but it's going to stay in there for now. And while, yes, I do have full intention of dumping another one of these right here, I just need a few minutes to get some more steel. So this is a crazy little setup. You know, it's not quite finished. I'm One of the main issues is that this pipe is here filled with oil, so I need to get it out of my way. But uh, there's the inn for the hot. Right, so the hot will go in, spread throughout here, and then go out right here. And then the cooling liquid, so the liquid that is built for cooling the turbines, will actually go around, you know, in here in the, the purple, and then there you go. So that is the main idea there. It's just getting this kind of hooked up next and pumping in some, we're going to start with polluted water. We can actually begin that process now, I believe. All I need to do is hook up a liquid bridge here. This was, I thought I had put this in, but apparently not. No, nope, I don't need to use, uh, don't need to use ceramic for that. So you'll see as well, we've used some ceramic inside. I'll show you in a sec right here. So let's just do the regular because we're just going to be dumping in regular stuff do, 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 and hooking it into there and dumping it in. So we use ceramics on the bridges because ceramic has a plus 200, I believe, melting rate. There you go. So it, uh, it, won't, it won't be melting anytime soon. So I'm very excited for that. That's going to be great. Uh, good use of materials in my mind. So ceramic, ceramic ceramic and ceramic just to make sure that if it does get really hot in here we don't have any issues the automation wire is built out of steel the electrical wires are built out of steel and the pipes are built out of iron or if they're not built out of iron there might be some copper in there as well yep so the melting rate i think uh yep 1500 and then copper same sort of deal so 1500 as well so that's that's that so going along very smoothly here. And the idea, again, is this system is supposed to be power positive, right? So we're producing so much steam. We're creating so much heat and expelling it in this room that the turbines are kind of free power. Now, this here is uh, is being used to cool the steam turbines only. So it's not going to be on all that much. But we'll see as kind of time goes on how it really works. As well, I didn't really look up a tutorial for this. I know, Graham, you did leave some comments down below. Really appreciate it. Very good helping out as always. But I kind of wanted to see, I wanted to test my own logic here and see if I could figure it out. So you're here with me on the journey. I'm sure if there are mistakes, you're you're screaming. You're screaming into the void right now uh, with, with panic and fear. But it's okay. It's okay. If a mistake happens, if somebody dies, somebody dies. That's how this works. I'm going to live with my failures. 
and uh, that's that's how uh, oxygen not included is. Nobody should die. Nothing terrible should really happen. It should be okay. Um, getting down into there. I'm gonna snip this. Now I know there are some there's some c comments about how much water needs to be in here. We're probably gonna see a little bit of waste again this time around, but I I don't it it really isn't. It, it's not a problem. <laughs> As you can see it's not really an issue. Water isn't a a horribly uh, difficult thing for us to find here on uh, Cultivista, so we're good there. I am going to hook up the power now, though. Oh, it's not done. I was wondering what was going on here. Unreachable. Oh, that'll do it. So let's do that. And once they've got it set up and pumping, we'll be good. Okay, so pretty well knowing that that is too much water, it's all good. It's all good. I know it's 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 way too much water. Uh, thankfully, I'm not too fussed about it at the moment. So what I'm going to do as well is just snip this here. So we were actually, so for a minute there, we were actually taking from the uh, the reserves here, which was good because it was able to fill that and fill this out. So once. We've got all of this done. I'm going to deconstruct this one little jump here. Uh, because this has been causing me some issues as I've been going along here. It's been very difficult for me to really envision what I'm up to while this is uh, this is here. So let's get this deconstructed now. There we go. And uh, we'll put that on a 9 priority. And then thankfully I'm gonna be able to now construct that upwards so this should be an insulated pipe so they will need to do a little bit of an update there but that's okay so now you can kind of see a little bit better as to what's going to happen so the coolant will go in here do 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 and around and heat it up all through here and then out through here and back into the system, hopefully at a good temperature. We're going to see in a minute. We're actually going to be pulling the coolant from here as well, which I had forgotten about. So that I'm going to quickly do this here. Uh, that should be fine. So let's get them to do a nine there. I am going to snip it as well, just so we don't need to worry too much about it. You know, you don't need to worry about too much about it. And so, yeah, that'll pump through, go through, do, 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 do. I, this is also for my own logic as well, and then into there. Okay, perfect. And then the coolant of choice, I think we all know what the coolant of choice is going to be. It's going to be ethanol, obviously, and we will have to pull some ethanol out of this system, or I can, and I'm going to do this instead, maybe pull from right here which is a little bit of a pain. They've got some difficulty making those, but what I think I'll do is I'll just speckle some ladders through here so that they have a better time building. I know this isn't uh, the best case, the best practices, but we'll put that all on a nine. They'll get it done. Well, I just kind of take a little look here and make sure everything else is good. So water oh yeah i disassembled some stuff so water's coming out that's okay so i've got to hook this up to itself here so there you go uh da, 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 all the way around from there and here so the coolant is going to go in here all right i don't know who was scalding but it's fine um, the coolant is going to go in right here and then around and this is where it gets complicated so we need to do a little bit of jumping here I don't love how many jumps I've had to do to make this system work, but hey, we're getting it done. <laughs> that is the main thing here. We are getting the cooling system set up here. It is really quite fussy, and that should do the trick, I want to say. We'll have to cancel that, sorry, just so that we don't make any errors there. Let's put that there, and we'll get that all hooked up on a 9 as well. And in a minute, finally pump in some coolant into that system look at them go oh my goodness they are working like mad here i love to see it there is actually a shot i've got of them working over here really hard and you know things have been getting tidied up i've been ripping things open as well somebody did pee here so now we've got germs we hate them and things are opening up to trying to get 
more carbon dioxide flowing downwards so we're going to be ripping this open soon once we're done all of the main construction here things will be better and i'm looking forward to it i also just realized something funny is they have not been cracking pip eggs the cuddle pip eggs which explains why this happened somebody please kill all of them please please remove them from existence oh my goodness that is too many we're just going to set them on to attack some of these cuddle pips. I don't need this many. Oh my gosh, they're wilding over here. See, this is what I mean. I need to fix this area up. I haven't been paying attention to the ranching since we set it up. And it's causing some food concerns because I send all of my barbecue over there. So hopefully nobody starves to death. But I did add an extra dupe here. I just thought that we were going to be fine and I wasn't going to have to deal with adding in new farms but perhaps I was mistaken so let me just dump in a couple of extra farms as well here so that we do survive I suppose is is what I would I would say and you know I do need to set up a new farming operation to make things make sense so we might actually begin farming somewhere over here or up here or well maybe down here and then you know pump everything up just so that we're we're good in that space so let's get this thrown in now it's about time it's taken us all this time to figure this out i'm i'm very happy now uh, there we go very happy to be pumping some ethanol into this system i'm hoping the dupes don't starve to death while i do this but we'll 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 wait to see excellent excellent so through 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 um, I might snip it here, and this should be enough petroleum, or it should be enough ethanol, I would think. Let's actually snip that, too. Is that too much? Ooh. That might actually be a little too much. Okay, that's alright, I got a solution to that problem. Just do this. Open it. Come on, you can go. Oh wait, sorry. I didn't I didn't put it in here. So this is this is a cheeky way of dealing with this problem. Boom. Snip, snip. And hopefully that has alleviated a little bit of the system there. Okay, good. So now I think we're all right. I think everything's good. I mean, we've got a lot of ethanol in those pipes to clean up, but that's not a big deal. I would m maybe like to get a smidge more of the ethanol into here for the cooling. Okay, it seems to be working fine. I mean, that is chaos. L look at this. Look at that. That is absolutely bonkers. There's some stuff to clean up too. But anyway, that's beside the point. Let's do the complicated piece of actually seeing if this works. Uh, so that would be that. And right in there. So taking a full it's going to take one full stock and then we're going to shut it so we'll have it fill up fully it's supposed to be producing steel it is at a nine as well nine priority and two we could put in a radiant pipe here later on to help cool this as well okay they really decided to start working on that immediately i was not anticipating that okay so Let's let that happen, I guess. I don't know. I don't want too much coolant to be running around, you know? Is it spewing it out? Okay, so it is spewing it out at about 400. Not 400. About 200. It's going in and it is cooling down dramatically in the water. That is amazing. Boom, 19. Okay. Now then. Now we snip. I don't know if that is... Hello. I don't know if that is uh, perfect. It should continually be running, I think. And is that enough? No. Okay, so listen. Live and learn. They did confuse me there when they, when they jumped in. So let's have them fill the whole thing up. I think the idea is that it can hold... 800 each one spews out 400 each go at it spews 400 out so we want 1200 in the system at a time to make sure it's constantly 
able to function. So once we get one more spew out from here, I might cancel the task for, uh, there we go. Okay, so there's one. And let's fill it right back up again with stuff uh, reducing it to one, please. Stop, stop your task. There we go. All right. Should be good. I don't know if that's full, you know, the way that it's supposed to be full. So the idea was that it's supposed to constantly be moving, but now that it's full, this has stopped going in. I would like to see somebody finish. Okay. So out it's coming again at a hot temperature. There it is at 20. I think that's good. I think we're good. And again, like I was saying, so the idea is that this will heat up that oil that comes out, will heat up this water, which will turn into steam. And in theory, the, the oil going in will never get too hot. So when it comes out, it's not going to be more than 200 degrees. And then when it's going back in, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll be going in at, you know, maybe 100, but it only comes out at 200, I believe. That's, that's my belief anyway. And then this little system here with the ethanol is going around in a circle, cooling this and kind of cooling that a little bit. And the thermo aqua tuner will only run if things get too hot, right? So if the steam turbine gets too warm. Now, I'm hoping nothing breaks because if something breaks, this is kind of a hands off, I can't fix it sort of situation because it's such a mess. But I think think we're good as far as things go. Uh, just looking at it, I'm, I'm thinking maybe one steam turbine is enough. Worst case scenario, I, I do intend to put two in, but worst case scenario, we're running two steam turbines and we're expanding the, uh, the ethanol line to cool more stuff around the base. Cool maybe the actual ethanol here. Uh, a duplicate is apparently starving, but you can certainly access food, so go off. And, uh, yeah, we got 37,000, so quit your bitching. Now, I think that's a pretty good setup we've got there. We're going to be producing steel galore. We've already manufactured a bunch more steel. That is fantastic. I'm really pleased with that. And I'm going to be producing more iron and stuff. So, listen, if you folks got any uh, tips, hints here, do let me know. I think I've got a system that runs uh, relatively okay right now. As far as things go too, you know, we might have to wait and see once this stuff all evaporates and what happens there. So I think, you know, a good system. And now that means that I can quit focusing on this whole cooling system, quit focusing on making steel because I should be good at least for a little while now and begin focusing on space. So you can see I started building transit tubes and setting a system up here. And we are going to be getting up here, setting some systems up. And I know we said that plastic would melt, but I'm hoping maybe here, if I put some doors in or some security, it'll be all right. So there you go, folks. If you did enjoy this episode, you enjoyed me making this little refinery setup that should cool itself and be self-powered and some sort like that. Do let me know down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new. And as always, thank you for stopping by. Happy you did. And I'll see you next time.